From a way to get infinite netherite to a white enderman? Here are 222 super secret Minecraft things you probably didn't know. When pigs fly is something that you never see in Minecraft, but it should be when squids fly, since this hilarious mistake has led to squids being found flying in the air. Due to how squids are coded, for a while players would find them flying through the air. Squids work by always flying, it is just normal for them to be flying underwater as opposed to above water. This led to hilarious looking flying squids. Mojang repeated he says that the block that causes the most mistakes in the game is the piston. However, one of their biggest mistakes actually turned into a well-known feature of the game today. The mistake allowed pistons to be activated by a nearby block, which was directly above or diagonal to them. This was long before the introduction of redstone conductivity within blocks, and therefore it was something people really began to like. So Mojang decided to implement redstone conductive blocks into the game. Sand and gravel are two of the only blocks in the game to be affected by gravity, but sometimes you can find sand just floating there. This was actually a bug created by one of the developers for Mojang, which then went on to become a feature. The sand and gravel was meant to be fast traveled to the ground when it generated like this, but it was so fast that the game could not make it move. Eventually, the developer decided instead to add in dust particles so it could become a feature. The creeper is quite literally the face of Minecraft. However, Mojang is still desperately trying to make people forget that the creeper was a texture accident when developing the pig. While developing the pig texture, the texture suddenly drastically changed and would lead to the creeper. Mojang will never be able to cover this up. Minecraft's biggest problem is that the ender dragon doesn't look like a dragon at all. So we're going to be fixing that with ender dragon revamped. This texture pack transforms him from a harmless lizard to an actual terrifying dragon. Combine this with these enhanced boss bars and your pants are going to be going from blue to brown real quick. Someone help! There's hot singles in my area! If you want to have the same problem as me, this pack allows you to change that awful boring message as you go to bed. You can't sleep. Get out of here! Looking at the textures for crops and flowers makes me want to throw up. I mean, why even use sprites and 2D models in 2024? Instead, Mojang should have taken a page out of 3D Tomatoes book. Not only does this pack use much better models, you can even see the tomatoes at each stage of their growth. Being stuck in a cave without any torches is one of the worst places a player can find themselves in. But this rejected miner's helmet would have brought an end to that. This helmet was intended to have a torch on top of it that would light the way as you explored the caves. But why was this rejected? Well, probably because it would require dynamic lighting, similar to how Optifine does lighting and torches. But who knows? Maybe one day, we will see this helmet again. Minecraft skins are kind of pointless. You can't see your own skin in first person, leading to most single players just never setting a skin. Obviously, you have access to F5, but what would Minecraft have looked like if our next rejected idea got into the game? Mirrors. Imagine the builds people would have made using mirror mazes, huge reflective art, and so much more. This one is a real shame. I just want to stay myself all day. I hate having to take my bed everywhere in Minecraft. I could be planning a huge adventure to find a hidden treasure and I'd have to pack all the essentials. My tools, some food, and an entire queen-size bed. It just feels wrong. And I now see why. There was a rejected Minecraft idea that was always intended to take over for beds in this style. The sleeping bag. The sleeping bag would have been more like a portable bed. But then Mojang realized there was not much point in adding this to the game when people could just make another bed. Being in the ground at night is so much safer than being above ground. There are less places for any enemies to spawn, and more places for you to hide. However, imagine a world where this was perhaps not the case. If this rejected idea had gotten into the game, caves could have been far more terrifying. Ghost miners are intended to be added into Minecraft to be an exclusively underground enemy for you to fight, able to slide through walls while slowly approaching you. Ugh, I do not like ghosts. If you're still using oak, acacia, or wood, you're a massive noob. Use bamboo instead. This is because bamboo is wood, but on steroids. How, you may ask? Well, bamboo grows super fast. And the best part, you can farm these almost instantly with just a stone sword. Mahaha! <laughs> or the bamboo is mine. Wait, maybe I should just buy wood from a villager instead. There are quite literally thousands of duplication glitches in Minecraft, but one of these is beyond overpowered. All you have to do is place fences below an end portal and drop a gravity block from three blocks above the portal. Unfortunately, though, Mojang hates us having fun since this only existed in Java 1.19. Wait, what if I do this with... Ah! Gardens in Minecraft are kind of boring. You could have an amazing house, but have a bad garden, and it brings down the entire aesthetic of the house. So, how can you have brilliant lighting in your garden without placing torches everywhere? Instead, use Glow Light Gen, a perfect block for lighting up your pathways whenever you do not want to line your pathways in torches or lanterns. And it's hidden from your sights unless you really look for it. Creating a lawn in Minecraft is normally done by just using grass blocks. However, if you want to bring some texture and color to your lawn, use this technique. By using moss blocks and grass blocks, you will create this gold 
golf course looking grass aesthetic. It certainly makes my lawn look a lot cleaner. You've heard of going above bedrock, but what about below it? In an older version of Minecraft, you could phase through the bottom layer of bedrock by placing a boat on the thinnest part of the water. Okay, this was a horrible idea, Dad! I wish I couldn't see the flower textures forever. Mojang decided to curse my eyes by using 2D sprites for all potted plants and not making them 3D. This almost feels as wrong as mining diamonds with a stone pickaxe. Where the f the diamonds. Being able to place floating lava should be a war crime. However, by using seven slime blocks, five sticky pistons, four redstone blocks, and four obsidian, you can set up this machine that lets you place floating lava blocks. The best part is this isn't even limited to lava. You can do the same thing with water. Rails are one of the best things Mojang added to the game, but we can make them even better by simply putting a trap door below them, which makes it so they can float in midair. Pair this up with a contraption like the one shown to get minecarts with infinite momentum and you can quite literally have the most illegal railway in the game. You should always have a hoe that is enchanted with Fortune 3 when farming, which will allow you to quite literally triple the rate at which you can get food. For example, you can get up to nine melon slices for each melon block farmed. This enchantment is so broken. Bone meal is one of the most important resources you need in order to get rich fast. And in the cherry grove biome, you can get a huge amount of it in just a few minutes. To do so, quickly harvest all the pink petals you see. Or you can be even faster and use a water bucket and place the water like this to get a huge flow. Give me all those petals! Blue axolotls have a very different chance of spawning naturally in the wild at a roughly 1 in 1,200 chance. But the reason this is so specific is for a really tragic reason. There are actually only 1,200 axolotls left in the world. So if you ever come across one of these, definitely make sure you report it to the authorities. When it comes to textures in Minecraft, most blocks and items will have a maximum of 7. But the compass, clock, and recovery compass are on an entirely different level, as these items have over 100 textures. This is because back before Minecraft Snapshot 13W02A, these items were actually procedurally generated, but it caused a surprising amount of lag, so it was just easier to give them more textures. Did you know that Minecraft actually changed the lore in relation to what you can say on the internet? Early in 2023, someone said that they were going to kill someone within Minecraft, but it was taken as an actual threat in the real world. This actually ended up with the guy in court, before they decided that it was made in jest and the guy was let go without any repercussions. Eventually, this law was changed, and now it is a lot harder to get away with this. Did you know that the millionth purchase of Minecraft actually got a very exclusive item? A user by the name of Akronman1 received a special cape alongside with his purchase of the game, which cemented his legacy as a millionth person to buy Minecraft. Let's hope he migrated his account. I was building the other day when I suddenly realized that this block is a directional version that I never noticed. Deep slates can actually be placed like logs with different directions. Am I the only one who didn't know this? Minecraft is a game of luck. You always have a chance to come across a villager or to even come across a vein of 100 diamonds. However, there is one thing in Minecraft which has a considerably larger percentage, and these are the igloos. Did you know that these igloos have a 50-50 chance to spawn with a zombie villager underneath? That makes this one of the biggest chances in Minecraft. A redstone ore is the only reactive ore. Whenever you walk past a redstone ore or interact with it, it will light up and then go dark again, except for deep slate redstone ore. Mojang clearly forgot to make deep slate redstone ore go darker after a while, so now now you can use it as a light block. Wait, why is it so dark? Ah! Everyone knows that you can fly in survival Minecraft. You can do this with an elytra, boats, and even with a pig? However, what most people didn't know is that you used to be able to fly up using a fishing rod. All you need to do this is a fishing rod and a minecart between updates 1.9 and 1.15, and then just spam away. Uh, I think I've flown a bit too high. Uh -oh. Item duping has been a huge issue in Minecraft since day one. No matter what Mojang does, they just can't fix it. However, in the current version, this feels way too easy. Simply place a chest and save and close your game. Reopen the world and instantly open your chest and put everything in before closing your game with shift and escape. Open up task manager and close Minecraft. Reload the game and you have all your duplicated items. I'm rich! Breathing underwater is impossible unless you have a helmet with respiration. But what if you wanted to explore a submerged cave and did not have this enchantment? Well, why don't you just make a bucket? Since if you swim forwards and just keep clicking with the bucket, your oxygen should not go down. Take that, Mojang! The Far Lands have become an iconic part of Minecraft's history, and now Mojang wants you to forget they ever existed due to how they were actually an accidental bug. The way this worked would be that eventually the world would stop generating chunks, and therefore the chunks would try to generate themselves and would cause the area to completely bug out. This is the Minecraft Trails and Tales trailer, and this is normal Minecraft. Yeah, this sucks. But we can fix this by using the bear 
bare bones pack. This just seems to bring everything to life, and we can make it even better by using the nostalgia shaders. I guess I won't be needing to bleach my eyes now. But there's one more pack that we can add to make this even better than the trailer. I'm talking about Simple Hot Bar, which changes all the vanilla hunger bars, hearts, and even the UI boxes. Moving on to one of Minecraft's most important items, cakes! According to the way cake disappears in the game, it's clear that good old Steve is eating it vertically? This is clearly game-breaking and ruins my immersion! Mojang should have used better cake slices instead, which makes the cake disappear chunk by chunk instead. Finally, the game is playable! One of the most poor decisions was to make every single enchantment book look the same. Look at all these books! I bet you can't even tell the difference. However, using visual enchantments not only adds these sick animations to each book, but it also applies the same animations to whatever you enchant. Now, this is something that should have been in the game for years. People often wonder why it took Mojang five years to add in a new overworld biome, and that is because of this rejected Minecraft idea. Originally, Mojang were working on a giant redwood forest biome. This most likely would have come out at some point around 2020, or perhaps even replaced a biome like the giant tree tiger. I certainly hope Minecraft brings us back one day. The most useful chest in Minecraft is certainly the ender chest, but sometimes it feels way too small, and so there is never enough room for all of my valuable items. If this next rejected idea had been made, you would have said bye to all of your storage issues. Expandable ender chests were originally planned up around the same time as the End Islands update, as Mojang wanted players to be able to transfer important blocks from one location to another. However, Mojang decided that the best way to do this would be through shulkers as opposed to expanding an ender chest. This villager trade is so incredibly overpowered, you won't believe it exists. If you have a villager who trades emeralds for wheat in a desert village, you've just hit the jackpot, baby! All you need to do is go around the village, collect an absurd amount of hay bales, and craft all of them into wheat. Voila! Your very own emerald machine. The only downside to trading with villagers is that you'll be running out of emeralds very fast. So if you're a bit of a cheater like me, change the difficulty of your world to hard with a slash difficulty command, and lure a zombie to a villager with the best trades. Once the villager gets zombified, trap him in an iron blocks, place a bed, and start stuffing him with golden apples and potions. Now you've got yourself the best deals on the planet. Although this does feel kind of wrong. What's better than food? Free food! And you can get this easily if you use a campfire to cook it, because this uses zero fuel. I know I'm being a cheapskate here, but a penny saved is a penny earned. Am I right? You can even attach a hopper to the campfire and always have food ready for you. Be honest, how many times have you died at the worst time possible and lost everything? So if you don't want to end up like Filza, here's a trick to get infinite health and save all your goodies. First, eat an enchanted golden apple, and follow that up immediately with a plain golden apple. Wait for the absorption effect to run out, and then do this all over again. Do this correctly, and even the ender dragon can't do anything to you. Okay, maybe you can, but you get the point. Have you ever wanted a house that your friends would never find? Well, thanks to the giant mushroom, you can hide your entire base within this small mushroom, and then everyone will just stroll on by. I would never know you were there. The perfect hiding spot. And if you are lucky enough to find the mushroom island, it is completely mob-proof too. My garage in Minecraft is very, uh, empty. However, thanks to this build hack, I can create a car within my garage. Unfortunately, it is a little bit expensive to do. Simply use slabs, a minecart, and some signs, and you can create the body of your car. The best block to finish off the wheels is definitely the weather skull. Sheesh, time to go gathering, I guess. This next build hack breaks the golden rule in Minecraft, using stairs for your roof. However, you should be using walls instead. It makes this really interesting and different style to your roof. Despite everyone using stairs for the past 10 years, I may consider giving this a go. But how exactly do you get lots of bone meal fast if you can't find a cherry blossom biome. One of the best supplies for this is the soul sand valleys in the nether. You should be breaking each bone block you see here since they give nine bone meal a piece. Couple this up with the farming techniques I told you about, and you could dominate your entire server with the amount of food you'd have. Yeah, I'm starting to think I like food a bit too much. What if I told you that it's possible to have ladders without having any ladders? For some reason, Minecraft freaks out when it comes to scaffoldings and lets you jump on their edge. This means you can spam the spacebar and get all the way to the top super fast. However, this isn't limited to scaffoldings alone. You can do this with powdered snow too. And getting down is incredibly simple. Just hold crouch while you're on the edge. Bad idea. If you thought that it rains because of clouds, pfft, 
you're a noob. Above the first set of clouds you see is another set of clouds that you can't see. According to Notch, this gray area is actually where the rain actually comes from. What's even weirder is that the rain falls one block into the void layer. Yeah, this was definitely never meant to happen. I hate gathering bugs in Minecraft. It takes forever and it's not even any fun to do. So instead, I use this Minecraft secret to get 700 blocks within an instant. If you find a stronghold with a single library and break each one, you get a maximum of 699 books. I can finally go on my cow killing spree. Minecraft's music discs are really quite weird. However, the weirdest is probably music disc 11. The music disc is so true to itself that it actually lasts 1 minute, 11 seconds, and 101 milliseconds, or 111111. There truly is no disc in Minecraft quite like it. Minecraft has some amazing structures and some less amazing structures. The stronghold is a perfect structure, whereas the underwater ruins are just kind of meh. Well, little did people know that these ruins can have some of the rarest items in the game and are considerably more valuable than you would initially think. Have you ever looked at a map of your world and thought how similar they all look? Well, this is actually because of how the terrain is generated, and this fact will shock you. Minecraft wants to create a world for the viewer that feels as natural and real as possible, and so they use an algorithm based on Perlin noise, which leads to the incredibly diverse landscapes you see in Minecraft. Honestly, just compare this image to a Minecraft seed, and you will see what I mean. X-Ray is something that almost every server will ban you for using. However, in single player, it can make finding items considerably easier. This glitch allows you to X-Ray within your single player world to find those valuable items. Mojang just cannot get rid of this horrendous mistake. On Bedrock Preview 1.19, Mojang messed up and made a glitch that gave you unlimited bone meal. In the patch, Bedrock Edition would not see grass as something that used bone meal. However, when you use bone meal on grass, it would grow without using the bone meal in your inventory. I'm not sure how useful this is, but it was certainly a bad mistake. Getting experience is very annoying in Minecraft. However, in Bedrock Edition, you could actually get unlimited XP. When the Skulk block was added, using a Silk Touch hoe on the block would both break the block and give you experience. But the Silk Touch would let you pick up the block, meaning that you had a free XP farm. Shields have become one of the most useful items in Minecraft. Defending yourself from a skeleton, use a shield. Blocking a massive nuclear explosion, use a shield. But that's what happens when you find yourself trapped in the middle of a raid, but you have no shield with a Ravager tearing down your door. Well, let's hope you grabbed a Pillager banner, as crafting this with your shield will actually restore it. This seems a bit game-breaking, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Ah! Minecraft Java and Bedrock Editions are the same in every way except for coding, right? Well, actually, no. Since in Bedrock Edition with the new sniffer plants, you actually get less value. If you were to craft a pitcher plant in Minecraft Java Edition, you would get two cyan die. However, on Bedrock Edition, the exact same craft only gives you one. This feels very unfair to those on Bedrock. If everything in Minecraft is a cube, it only makes sense that the sun and moon should be two. While Notch made them into squares in an old version of the game, we can take this one step further by using the cubic moon and sun packs. This makes it so that your world's day and night cycles are controlled by these massive cubes. Although, you don't want to look at them directly. Ah! My eyes! I can proudly say that I've never been scared of mobs in Minecraft, but this kind of pride goes down the drain after using Gray's mob overhaul. The simple texture pack makes every mob look like a Frankenstein creation. From the skeletons, to the zombies, to striders, to the wither. Every single mob is going to force you to either take a quick trip to the washroom or just set your monitor on fire. Did I also mention that creepers actually look creepy now instead of looking like snot balls? Redstone can be used in two different ways. You're either a genius who can create a working computer in Minecraft or you place a button next to a note block. This next rejected Minecraft idea would have brought an entirely different level to redstone engineering. The timer block would have given off a redstone pulse after the timer had reached zero. This would have been amazing for setting up traps and then messing with your friends. Minecraft's food solutions are kind of boring. The only food in the game you can actually place is the cake and then eat it too. However, did you know that originally the pumpkin pie was intended to be a placeable block similar to the cake? It would have worked the same way as the cake where you take a couple of slices at a time until your hunger is full. I am honestly not sure why Mojang never implemented this. Step right up, step right up, come and try for your prize. We have iron horse armor, diamond horse armor, gold horse armor, and a regular boring saddle. Well, those prizes hardly seem fun. I wish there was a different type of saddle. Well, originally there would have been. Before they decided to make horse armor, they were originally planned to be different saddle types. Instead, now we get the same regular boring saddle. One of Minecraft's most valuable objects is enderpearls. Unfortunately, getting them can prove to be quite difficult because of a Sir 
certain someone. First, I'll let you in on a secret. You can fix this problem in seconds. All you need to do is build a massive hole like so and build a tower right above it when you're in the end dimension. But this should be at least three blocks high. This is because endermen are roughly the same height as this. So once they fall in, they can't even touch you. Ah, oh, come here, you cutie. Look, he's harmless. Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. Look at how boring this armor looks. And look at it now. Did you see how much of a difference having an armor trim makes? And my personal favorites are the silence and water armor trims. But when it comes to looting them from ancient cities, my luck is straight up horrible. No, stay away from me! Anyway, there are a few things you can do to maximize both your loot and safety in ancient cities. One of these is always using a recovery compass to make sure that your loot is never lost and you can continue from where you left off. Tired of having to line your garden in torches? Well, why don't you try this building hack which lets you have the same brightness as glowstone without having the ugly blocks be visible. Break a hole into the ground, place a piece of glowstone or another light block, and then cover it with moss. Obviously, this only works in plains biomes. Have you ever wanted to build a secret base inside of a snowy mountain? You should use powdered snow. If you place two powdered snow in front of the entrance to your mountainside base, and as long as you remember to wear your leather boots, you can go in fine, and everyone else will fall into the snow. Everyone knows about hiding a secret entrance behind a painting, but this house will tear apart your friendships. Since you can create this huge lava ravine behind the painting, make sure you make it obvious that there is something behind your painting, and voila! You have tricked your friend into one of the most embarrassing deaths ever. I can't tell you the amount of times I've missed out on a shipwreck because of not being able to see through the damn ocean! However, this is easily fixable with a little bit of, a uh, <laughs> help. Back in 1.19, if you set your camera at just the right angle on the water surface, you could see through the entire ocean and find anything on the seabed. But, 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 Marlo! Isn't this technically X-ray? What else did you expect, nerd? You will never believe where the sound design for gas came from. Everyone's favorite Minecraft song maker, C418, had a cat that often made disturbed noises while it slept. But during the development phase, he thought that these noises would be the perfect tracks to use for the gas. No wonder they seem so disturbing. For years, Mojang has been fixing thousands of bugs, but there is one that is detrimental to the entire game. What is it, you might ask? Cookies don't have sugar in their crafting recipe! I would actually be better off eating cement laced with TNT gunpowder than cookies without sugar. Is that even a cookie at that point? For this one, I want you to look at the sun very closely. Hey, no, not in real life! Much had some crazy ideas back in the day. From a red dragon to a sky dimension, there was one change that was so weird, no one could have guessed why it was even implemented. I'm talking about not just decision to make the sun round? In fact, he did exactly that for one beta pre-release. Weird decision for a game based on literal cubes. Minecraft 10 years ago was a very different game to what it is nowadays. The game used to be filled with bugs, reused textures, animations, and so much more. However, this next fact may make you rethink the origins of the creepers, since they used to explode into leaves? Maybe at one point the creepers were meant to be some kind of leaf monster, but who really knows as this may have been just lazy coding. Sometimes you want to get different colored worlds but you are far too lazy to search for the different types of dye. Well, did you know that you can breed different colored sheep together to make different colors? For example, a blue and red sheep bred together will make a purple sheep. This is some really good attention to detail. Players will often use coal in their furnaces. However, this next secret is going to make your smelting considerably easier. If you were to smelt a single block of coal, you would be able to cook 80 raw pork chops. But if you use 9 coal, you would only be able to cook 74. This might be the most confusing math question I have ever heard. Everyone knows that Minecraft was originally called Cave Game before becoming Minecraft. But did you know there was actually another name in between these? Minecraft was originally going to be far more story driven and therefore it needed a name truly befitting of this style. And therefore Mojang once worked with the name Minecraft, Order of the Stone. This is most likely also where the name of the group in Minecraft story mode came from. When Minecraft was still being developed, Mojang did not have any in-game commands to summon items or mobs. So what they would do was code a Minecraft player to have loads of items. The mistake with this, however, came from one of Minecraft's developers. Jeb came forward to tell the public how there was a bad glitch but players would spawn in with hundreds of new items simply because they forgot to remove the code. Jeb said that this even led to them creating a release document that said, remember to remove all the debug items. One hilarious mistake Mojang made came while creating the squid mob. Back when Minecraft was just a small indie game, the developers were struggling to code in the squid. Since they did not entirely understand how the system worked, they decided to copy the cow and just mess around with it. Copying a cow, however, led to squids being able to be milked, meaning that for a time, squid milk was actually a thing in Minecraft. One mistake that Mojang developer Surge made actually stayed in the game for three years, and no one noticed. According to Surge, he messed up parts of the world generation so that the direction right was actually forward and back was actually left. The funny part of this 
notice that nobody noticed, despite how infuriating this mistake may be. Fireworks and elytras have become paired with each other. You will never use an elytra without having its trusty sidekick nearby. However, this was not always the case. When the elytra was first added to the game, firework rockets did nothing. The elytra was meant to be more of a glider than wings, and so Mojang decided to not implement a way for them to fly. Until players discovered all they had to do was shoot themselves with a punch to bow, then they would be able to fly to their heart's content. While Gray's mob overhaul is horrifying, we can upgrade that to trauma-inducing by using spawn animations. Instead of appearing out of thin air like they usually do, mobs now dig themselves out of the ground. Even though this is scary, making mobs scarier than they are right now is something that Mojang should have added to the game long ago. The current textures for leaves look as bad as a bald man sticking chunks of hair on his head. Yeah, it's disgusting. However, better leaves can fight this absolute tragedy by making the leaves look like, well, actual leaves by adding depth to each individual part of the leaf block. It was this simple? The nether portal Mojang designed just feels empty. By that, I mean it's like someone threw up a purple poster. However, we can see its true potential by using the mystic nether portal. Not only does this give a massive texture overhaul, but also adds these ancient letters into the portal animations itself. Fun fact, the symbols you see are the actual letters that Minecraft uses throughout the game. The standard galactic alphabet. But that's not even the best part. Your portal can be green, orange, or even red, depending on whether or not you use traditional texture packs. Time to hit the town for a shopping spray! Let's see, a fletching villager. Well, that makes sense. A librarian selling books. That also makes sense. A cleric selling an engineering component. Wait, what? Surely there must have been a redstone villager? Well, actually, it turns out, yes, there was meant to be a redstone villager. A villager who would only sell and accept redstone components and torches. The problem was the rest of his trades. It was very difficult to find a balanced way to get emeralds and trade them back to him without being insanely expensive or way too easy to obtain. Decorating in Minecraft is really difficult and frustrating. Imagine a world where your furniture could look like actual furniture. Now this is better. This was actually Mojang's original plan. However, at the time, it was a lot more difficult to implement this, and Mojang had so many bugs to fix across their versions, so they just abandoned the idea, leaving it to amazing modders to make this. Time to kick back and watch some Mallow YouTube videos, where you should subscribe. Secondly, only massive noobs search for ancient cities manually. Just head on over to Chunk Base and plug in your world seed to find all the ancient cities next to you. But Mallow, is it this cheating? Hey, we want to get rich, all right? Who cares about ethics? You might not believe me, but it's possible to x-ray through the entire ocean without downloading any... <coughs> external help. Ahem, ahem. All you need is a potion of night vision. Chug this down and immediately go into your settings to turn your brightness to 50. This allows you to see for miles without the danger of Mojang unaliving you in seconds. Finding ocean monuments, geodes, strongholds, and ultimately insane amounts of treasure has never been easier. Alerting skulk sensors is one of the most horrifying experiences in the game. And there's a huge probability that you'll die and lose all your goodies. But this is easily fixed by setting up an infinite sound machine. Just place down a Skog Sensor, Redstone Repeater, and Trapdoor. Not only does this prevent the Warden from chasing you, but it'll give you enough time to sweep through the entire ancient city. Why the hell does this work so well? This treehouse has the most bizarre staircase ever. If you ever want to make a natural looking staircase, use trapdoors and slabs. This lets the staircase blend into the natural environment surrounding it. However, it does make the staircase slightly unbearable to climb. Armor stands are boring! However, I found a way to build an awesome base defense mechanism by using a number of different blocks you can build these amazing looking statues to defend your house from any unwanted invaders. They are certainly a lot more imposing than anything else I've ever seen. Tables are kind of boring within Minecraft. You can either have this fence with a pressure plate on top or this one. However, there is one way to build a table for your dining room that breaks the rules. Simply use trap doors instead. This still makes the table look normal, but does not make it too big. What a lovely design. Starting out on any Minecraft world can be tough. However, did you know that technically every house you build breaks the rules? Of course. According to the official Minecraft handbook, your first house should always look like this. You are kidding, right, Mojang? I have been in this world for years and I still live in a rectangular wooden box. There is only one thing worse than a zombie with a weapon. A zombie with two weapons! Or actually two pieces of armor in this case. Because of a bug in 1.8.9, all mobs that could wear armor began holding it in their hands instead. But the weirdest part is that they would only hold leggings and boots. Wait, so does that mean they don't have pants on? The skeleton just got a million times scarier. You've never paid attention to this, but there is something horribly wrong about buried treasure chests. For starters, they generate a chunk coordinates 9 on both the Z and X coordinates. However, the weirdest part is that you'll always find them facing towards the east. I'm never going to be able to unsee this. The next time you decide to use Riptide without an Elytra, you might want to think again. This is because full damage stacks up for all the time that you're in the air. 
meaning no matter how softly you land, you're gonna be unaliving yourself in seconds. What's the most horrifying mob in the game? The Warden? Ender Dragon? Or even Endermen? Nope, it's parrots. On the surface, they might seem innocent, but in reality, they're beasts. For starters, parrots in Minecraft are coded to gather around every mob they see because Mojang thought it would be close to their real-life nature. Yeah, maybe Jeb should be surrounded by a thousand dancing parrots and then decide whether that's fun. It is so creepy! Stop staring at me! You might already know that any items you throw on a cactus get destroyed immediately. However, there is one block that can even make the almighty cactus seem harmless, and that is snow. Snow will never get destroyed when placed next to a cactus. So if you're really afraid of cacti, you can use this trick to have a cactus force field. Most Minecraft players nowadays play on Java Edition, but there is a hidden feature within Bedrock Edition that desperately needs to come to Java Edition. In the Bedrock version of Minecraft, the fire aspect enchantment has such a useful feature. Fire aspects can actually light blocks like TNT, campfires, and candles. I would love this in my world, but I know I would accidentally light my house on fire or something. The Sniffler is the newest addition to Minecraft, with the ability to find some incredibly rare flowers for your world. But did you know that the baby version of the Sniffler actually has its own name? The Snifflet is the baby version's name, and I just love this name and want to have a thousand of them. Minecraft has had some real attention to detail during their lifespan, but this next Minecraft secret is actually quite surprising, as the skeleton has a very specific chance to be left-handed. In Minecraft, most mobs will carry items or weapons in their right hand. However, the skeleton has an 11% chance to carry its bow in its left hand, mirroring the amount of people in the world who are actually left-handed. I am very impressed. Minecraft blocks will have a set rotation, but back in the beta version of Bedrock 1.16, Mojang were trying to figure out a way to give certain blocks a different rotation. The texture of copper ore in particular had a chance to be randomly rotated, but for some reason this was eventually scrapped. Anyone who has played a lot of Minecraft will know that a tick refers to every moment Minecraft is processing. However, did you know that there is a difference between a redstone tick and a Minecraft tick? One Minecraft tick is roughly one-fifth of a second, however, a redstone tick is one-tenth of a second. And fortunately, I'm not smart enough to tell you why this is, though. The Elytra may actually be the most over-designed item in Minecraft. Elytra, while yes, technically wings are not actually used for flying, they work as a shell for a phantom's wings that the players then use to fly. Does this mean that once upon a time, phantoms existed within the end? Gosh, I hate them enough in the overworld. I don't want to deal with them in the end. Signs are one of the most useful items in Minecraft. Perfect for organizing your items once and then completely disregarding them. However, did you know that you can see sign text for a candle in the Bedrock Edition? This glitch desperately needs to be patched by Mojang, but hey, you should listen to the sign. There are very few blocks in Minecraft that will speed up minecarts, and even to this day, people are infuriated by how slow they can be. But if you mix a boat and a minecart and then add a villager into the mix, you can actually make minecarts go faster. And the best part is, you do not need to mine for hours to get all the gold and redstone. Now I can make my massive gold statue. Everyone knows how to break bedrock with TNT, but did you know that there is an even easier way to break bedrock that doesn't require you to spend hundreds of hours building elaborate machines? Just get yourself a drip leaf and bone meal it. So that will destroy anything in its path. One of my favorite items in the game is the goat horn. However, in Snapshot 22W17A, if you went into your creative inventory on the snapshot, it seems that Mojang wanted the goat horn to be the do it all block. Do do do! Come, my goat army! Have you ever noticed how item drops in Minecraft are always vertical? I'm no Einstein, but how can a piece of armor stay upright? Well, item physics makes this much more realistic by making all items drop horizontal. Not only that, it also manipulates how items lay on the ground to trick you into thinking that they are actually in contact with the blocks below them. Ah, uh, I love playing Minecraft for realism. Brewing charts will be the end of me! Why couldn't the devs have just told us what potion each item makes? Kind of like what Alchemy Helper does by adding what kind of potion will be made if you brew an item. This even goes as far as adding extra information to flowers to make it easier to craft suspicious stews. The nether is a pretty and easy place, and none are quite as uneasy as the Soul Stand Valley, with massive expanses of sand containing trapped souls. But one day they decided to add in these massive bone structures to resemble a long dead species. Now, what if I told you that this species was originally going to have lived in the overworld? That is right, as there was originally going to be large skeletal remains found deep underground, but unfortunately they had some issues with spawning and were rejected, and instead used as a structure for the soul sand valleys. And decide. Boring. Diorite. Boring. Granite. Boring. Stone. Why are all these so boring? But did you know there was initially meant to be another stone variant called bluestone? Why this was rejected is largely unknown, but I imagine it would have looked kind of weird. Villagers cover the world in Minecraft, but there are some biomes where the villagers were just kind of forgotten. Jungle villages are confirmed to have at one point been a thing. But I bet you didn't know that initially there were plans to have a village in the mushroom biome. Well, this is one that certainly
definitely makes sense. But I would argue that this biome was interesting and rare enough that adding a village would make it next to impossible to find. I bet you never knew how weird coal generation really is. Usually, Minecraft creates two batches of coal per chunk, with each batch existing at different Y values. One of these exists between Y equals 136 and Y equals 256, while the other is between Y equals 0 and Y equals 192. This gives us a perfect estimate for where we can find the most coal, which is from Y equals 136 and Y equals 192, since the ranges for both batches will overlap at these values. But most times, this generation isn't equal, and blobs spawn randomly, with most of them being found at Y equals 96. Now you know exactly where you should be farming it. When a warden starts chasing you, good luck surviving that. So, what do you do in a situation like this? Well, you're gonna have to make sure your armor is enchanted with Swift Sneak 2 or higher, which will allow you to get away. However, you still need to be careful of the warden's ranged attack, because that thing is no joke. And if you have the time, pull down your render distance down to two chunks. The moment you stop hearing his footsteps means that he's far enough and will most likely calm down. I'm finally safe! Contrary to popular belief, growing crops isn't as simple as just smacking down a few seeds into the ground. There's actually a technique that goes into how you plant them. From your water source, move out four blocks diagonally. And then from this one, continue tiling until you're almost two blocks ahead of your water source. Then start tiling in the opposite direction until you have an almost checkerboard pattern like this. Now, I know this looks insanely cursed, but it's the most efficient way to farm. And since these need at least a night level of nine to grow properly, don't forget to throw on a few torches. Don't mind me and my infinite supply of melon. There is nothing better than a nice relaxing bath after an immensely stressful day. And now you can have one of these in your house. All you have to do is use stairs, slabs, some water, and a minecart, and you can create this relaxing looking bath. Time to kick back. Wow, too hot! I love building houses with a nice medieval aesthetic. And one thing every medieval house needs is a well. And thanks to this rule-breaking Minecraft build, you can create the illusion of a bucket going into a well. This is very satisfying to look at. There are no food items I can have on display in my house. So I found out that thanks to this neat little trick, you can make different kinds of fruit barrels. By using different coral blocks surrounded by spruce trap doors, you can make a blueberry barrel, an apple or berry barrel, and a banana barrel? Sponge barrel? Some kind of yellow fruit barrel. But what if you hate long build tutorials and just want a house that keeps it simple? Well, this base has that and more. I mean, it's so small you can't even stand up fully. But who cares? Just be careful since it only takes one creeper explosion for it to be completely destroyed. Wait, what do you think you're Ah! Villager noises are almost as big as Minecraft itself at this point. That's why you'd be surprised to know that until Java Edition 1.6.1, they made no noises at all. Trying to imagine a silent villager is almost as bad as imagining a white enderman. That's racist. Night vision is one of the most useful enchantments in the game, but use this incorrectly and you'll be getting yourself into a fever dream. Oddly enough, looking at the horizon with this effect active makes it so that the entire sky flashes with different colors. Would you believe me if I told you Minecraft came out 17 years before its release in 2011? I'm talking about Minecraft 3D that was released April 1st, 1994. If you haven't figured it out already, this was an April Fool's joke by Mojang. But I have to say, it looks amazing! Did you know it's possible to burn yourself to death underwater? I don't know why you'd want to do this, but just place a cauldron filled with lava and sit inside. Lala, how did you even find out about this? Hey, listen here. Stop asking so many questions. Everyone knows about the iconic Minecraft music created by David Rosenfeld, or as he is better known, C418. But did you know he actually has a plethora of songs that were never added to the game? Whether that be for disagreements with Microsoft or for his own personal requirements for a song to be good enough, we will likely never know. Minecraft seed hunting is really quite cool, and players have even found things like the title screen, the world icon seed, and even this next secret seed which has a huge generation of Notch's face. Sometimes you can't help but feel like Minecraft is lacking a lot of customizability. However, in older versions of the game, this wasn't the case. As back in Minecraft, 1.7.2, there were some super secret endings that will let you change how the entire game looked. My favorite addition to the game from the Caves and Cliffs update was definitely the axolotls, and in particular the highly elusive blue axolotl. However, did you know that this is the only version of the axolotl that cannot be found in real life? The blue axolotl was actually suggested by user Dark Eyes Flame on Reddit, where he suggests the blue axolotl be added to reference Mudkip from Pokemon. Just look how adorable he is. Have you ever wanted to place the same sign above multiple different chests? Well, this little known detail will save you tons of time doing this. If you are in a creative world and you press Control plus middle click on a block, it will copy everything about the block, including any writing. This even works for chests and lets you duplicate the items. I will be rich beyond your wildest dreams! Lightning is one of the weirder weather types within Minecraft. If lightning strikes a creeper, you get a charged creeper. If it strikes a pig, you get a zombie pigman. But what happens
happens if it strikes a turtle? Well, you get a bowl. Now all I need is some milk and cereal. The compass is probably one of the most useless items in Minecraft. Its only function in vanilla Minecraft is pointing towards the world spawn. Well, actually, that is not entirely true. If you were to go into your inventory, you would notice that the direction of the compass can actually change based on where you are in your world. That is because the compass will always point to the north when you are in your inventory. Now I know where to avoid. It's cold up there. <coughs> Everyone knows that raw chicken in Minecraft has a chance to poison you. This is largely based on real life. However, did you know that crouching in Minecraft while eating raw chicken can actually lower the chance you have of getting poisoned? I think this is a reference to what happens when you eat chicken that may not be as good as you thought. Everyone knows about Minecraft Java, Bedrock and Education Edition. But did you know there is actually one secret version of Minecraft you probably didn't know existed? Minecraft, much like many other games, has an entire version that is solely for China. Because China is the largest video game market in the world, of course Minecraft would make an exclusive version for China. There are so many mobs within the game. However, there is one mob still in the game who Mojang have forgotten about themselves. The giant was introduced over 11 years ago to be this brand new dangerous mob, but then nothing ever happened with it. Imagine walking through the plains biome and suddenly coming face to face with a giant. I know I would be terrified. I found an item that was immensely broken in its pre-release, but the weirdest part is that it's not even an item anyone would use in a normal playthrough. In pre-release 1.17, Mojang made the hanging root item have way too big of an icon when dropped on the floor, making it considerably larger than anything else in the game, and it isn't even that nice of a block. For the most part, Mojang has made a lot of textures very successfully. However, have you ever had a deeper look at some textures that perhaps are not as good as they should be? Time for a quick fire! The first messed up block is actually redstone dust. It does not even connect up properly. Iron armor is a really useful early game armor set. But have you ever noticed how the iron helmet does not even match what it looks like in your inventory? Oh, my personal favorite! The cauldron being misaligned by one pixel. I have ruined Minecraft for a lot of people today. If you're a psycho and actually play Bedrock, this chunk visualizer is the only thing that can keep you sane. Not only that, it even displays the coordinates without having to bring up this ugly menu that takes up half the screen. But Mallow, can we just use the F3 shortcut? Stop! Bedrock players aren't allowed an opinion! Imagine if Minecraft had a setting where you can make all the utility tweaks you ever needed. Better textures, a real-time clock, a coordinate HUD, everything! That's why Vanilla Tweaks is the most overpowered mod to exist in the game. This is the ultimate all-in-one pack that allows you to modify any texture and download utility within seconds. Most importantly, you can rehaul the way your entire game looks with tons of block textures. Look at my massive crop field! Can you even tell which of these are ready to be harvested? Yeah, not even Herobrine would be able to do that. Fortunately though, Easy Farm can be outlining fully grown crops in white. This is especially useful for nether warts because they all look the same for God's sake! Mobs in Minecraft just seem to plop over as they die. And this is awfully boring! Something like torturable health bars is far better. The warden loses an ear. The enderman starts looking like he went through war and jaws for skeletons fall off. Fleshier mobs like the zombie and husk lose parts of their head. Wait, this game just became PG-18? Have you ever been sitting watching YouTube in your bed at 2am and suddenly the brightness on your phone screen has gone up? Dad! A rejected idea for Minecraft was to have an opposite potion to the darkness effect. A brightness effect where the screen would become so bright that you could not see anything. And you essentially became sunblind. I can see why this one was rejected as, wow, this is bright. Careful, don't make a sound. Achoo! Oh no! Run away! <sighs> I think I got away. I wish I had this next rejected Minecraft idea. The potion of silence, which was as you would expect, makes you silent. Swift sneak is a very useful enchantment, but sometimes I do not want to break my finger holding down the crouch key. If I had this potion, I could run straight by this warden and he would not even flinch. Plots have not had many updates since their release besides new or retextured versions popping up here and there. There was, however, originally a plan for an iron boat. But I think we can see why this one was rejected. The boat probably would not work very well. I want a pet! No, I'm not after a cat. Hmm, parrots are kind of boring. Dogs? Ew! Wait, I haven't seen this one before. Yes, you heard it here. Originally, dolphins were meant to be tameable and rideable like an underwater horse. Why this idea was scrapped is beyond me. Please, Minecraft, give me a mob I can ride underwater. <laughs> you should always have a hoe that is enchanted with Fortune 3 when farming, which will allow you to quite literally triple the rate at which you can get food. For example, you can get up to nine melon slices for each melon block farmed. This enchantment is so broken. Farming levels can be one of the most time-consuming aspects of playing Minecraft, especially when you don't
don't have an XP farm starting out. So, one of the best ways to get levels while being relatively safe is by farming nether quartz in the nether. Not only does this have a 45% chance of spawning, meaning it's literally everywhere, but it is also the best source to farm for experience right after diamonds, since it will give you experience ranging anywhere between 2 to 5 points. Once you reach higher levels, you might find yourself struggling with experience. So, here's how to get infinite XP. While using a furnace, smelt a material like iron. And just as it's done, swap it out with an already smelted iron. The only currency this will cost is your patience. I love connecting my treehouse to other trees in Minecraft. However, I have never found a good way to make these authentic looking rope bridges. Until now! If you use acacia slabs and lightning rods, you can create this unique bridge design that even matches the area you are in. Just make sure you don't fall through them. Ah! Sharks are almost added to Minecraft, and even to this day, I wish they were. However, did you know that you can actually have jellyfish in your exotic fish aquarium? Simply use the pink glass block and a hanging root underneath it to give you this amazing jellyfish for your own personal aquarium. Sometimes people want to have some fun and sell some items to their friends on a server. And this next build hack really lets you have that amazing Japanese-inspired design. This ramen stand uses armor stands underground to create these truly authentic seats. I just love this design. As far as seating goes in Minecraft, there really is not many options. However, this seat completely breaks the rules. By using blocks like slabs, stairs, iron trap doors, and a minecart, you can make this amazing modern chair design. And the best part is, it actually works. Nether stars are incredibly important for crafting beacons, but there's something about these objects that you never knew. These are in fact explosion proof, and this makes sense because they need to survive the wither's death. But that's not the best part. They are still not immune to lava, cacti, and anvils. Wait, hold up. A nether star can survive TNT, but not my diamonds? Minecraft has had a massive run of bugs and items that should never have existed, but there was one that was far more insane than anything you'll ever see. In one of the earliest alphas in 2010, pressing F4 would allow you to spawn in nether portals. What was Mojang even thinking? Did you know you can make TNT blocks freak out completely? By placing an anvil on top of TNT before lighting it up, you can make it do zero damage. You can do this for massive amounts of TNT and give your friends a heart attack. Or if you want TNT to explode underwater, place a block of sand above it and then light it up. And you might be wondering how this works. Well, you'd be surprised to know I don't know either. One of the most hyped features for the game was the sky dimension that Notch wanted to add during early development, but unfortunately this never happened. However, there was something similar in its very first year of launch. In the in-dev version, you could set your map type to floating island. This was similar to the buffet world types we've seen recently, and the entire surface used to be covered with bedrock. Yeah, we definitely need this back. Back when Minecraft was just a small indie game, they were able to create updates incredibly quickly. However, the amount of time it took to fully create Minecraft will shock you. It only took notch six days to create the first full version of Minecraft. Minecraft. Yet nowadays, it takes them a year to implement a single mob from a rigged vote. Come on, Mojang. Notch is known for being a bit controversial. However, the reason he sold Minecraft is actually quite wholesome. When Notch was looking to sell his shares in Minecraft, he took to Twitter and found out Microsoft were interested in buying them. But before selling them, Notch asked that his staff be taken care of going forward. Well, at least one good thing came out of the selling of Minecraft. When you create a world in Minecraft, you have a couple of different options. From a regular world to an amplified Minecraft world, there are so many options. However, did you know there is actually a hidden world type called debug mode. Debug mode is a hidden world type that can be accessed by holding the alt key while pressing the world type button. This world is way too trippy for my liking. Minecraft has a long history of cancelled updates and features from the satchel all the way to the numerous cancelled mob votes. However, one cancelled feature was actually removed all the way back in Java edition 1.2.1, and these are hieroglyphic textures. Believed to have been planned to come into the game alongside the desert pyramids, these hieroglyphics were scrapped and never added. One of the biggest mistakes mistakes Mojang has ever made is the exclusion of mobs that appeared in all the different mob votes. Mojang could add all of these mobs into each update and have it be an all-inclusive mob vote update, but instead they only ever decide to add one from a community vote that always seems unfair. Mojang, I did not want this! Speaking of missing updates, one mistake Mojang has still not corrected is fixing the end. The end is meant to be the final location in your Minecraft world. You beat the dragon, open a portal, and boom, you end up in this weird barren wasteland. Since the nether update, people have speculated about their being a similar update for the end. This is great, except that the nether update was three years ago, and we still have nothing for the end. I feel like Mojang employees just do not want to give us these updates. One mob that we all miss is the OG zombie pigman. This is for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the zombie pigman was just a perfect enemy that really felt like it belonged in the nether as a zombie counterpart, but introducing the piglins ruins that feeling. The thing that makes this an annoying mistake, however, is that they do not even drop 
rotten flesh anymore. Please, Mojang, bring this back! The next mistake was not entirely Mojang's fault. Since Microsoft bought Mojang, they have been trying to get Mojang accounts and Microsoft accounts linked. However, this proved to be massively hidden from people who perhaps use their parents' account. Since there are now millions of Minecraft accounts that have been erased entirely from the earth, people often say that Minecraft doesn't feel as colorful as it used to. Well, in Snapshot 18W15A, if you mess with the new Biome Blend feature, you could turn your Minecraft world into a colorful fever dream. Just fly around and see blue leaves, pink grass, red rivers, and so much more. Honestly, can we have this back, please? There is a feature in older versions of Minecraft that Mojang actually regretted adding. People love playing Minecraft in different ways, and Minecraft Virtual Reality now has a huge player base. However, did you know you used to be able to play Minecraft with 3D glasses? Back in 1.12, there was a 3D anaglyph setting on Minecraft which would let you see the world in 3D. Yet, I have never actually met anyone who used this, so Mojang swiftly erased it from existence. Let's take torturable health bars a step further by using Streisand's health bars. Although having each mob display their health feels like it's cheating, it's an awesome addition for newer players and could even potentially save you from <clears throat> unaliving <clears throat> a villager or two. Let's use X-Ray! Wait, hear me out. There are tons of illegitimate ways to get X-Ray in the game, but using X-Ray Ultimate is completely okay if you intend to use it in a single player world. This can be super useful if you're looking for something like ancient debris or emeralds, but are the world's unluckiest player. But this is only for noobs. I haven't used it at all. <laughs> what else was I supposed to do? Maybe the wrong banner patterns has driven me insane. I wish I'd known about banner pattern clarity much earlier. This allows you to see small symbols on banners or you put them in a loom to ensure that you don't end up wasting resources. I've missed diamonds hundreds of times at this point, all because this game is way too dark. However, Mining Helper is one of the most OP textures to exist since it gives every aura glow in the dark effect. I'm never missing an aura after this. <laughs> Slabs are one of the most useful blocks in Minecraft for building a roof. Seriously, I don't ever use them for anything. But what if I told you that at one point you could have been able to use slabs as a wall? Well, originally Mojang planned on adding in vertical slabs, but thought people would use them as a wall, so instead they created the wall block. Right, I can definitely find the stronghold now. Let me just throw this end over my head. Wait, where did it go? Oh, it is trapped down there? Ah, time to mine for it, I guess. How did I not find it? Ugh, I just wish the ender eye cleared the blocks in its path. Well, at one point, this is an idea that Mojang brought to the table. However, they were concerned this ruined the adventure aspect of finding a stronghold, so they removed it. Ah, there it is! This is a straight redstone trail. Pretty simple, right? Well, this is a straight line of redstone going up. Why is this so complicated? Well, originally it wasn't supposed to be. Mojang actually rejected the idea to have redstone be vertical as well as horizontal. Imagine all the amazing elevator bills and more I could make if they had not ruined this for me! Most people think that when breaking melons in Minecraft, you should use an axe, but this is actually not true. Well, yes, it is true that axes are the best tool for breaking a pumpkin when it comes to breaking melons, you should actually use a sword instead. I suppose it is the closest thing to a chopping knife in Minecraft. So shoo shoo shoo! Endermen noises are really creepy, but don't worry, as this Minecraft secret will make them far less creepy. The Enderman voices are actually just humans saying hello and what's up, but being played backwards and distorted, making them far less terrifying. Well, for the player. For me, look, I'm more terrified! Flower picking is nobody's favorite pastime, but did you know that red flowers are actually considerably rarer than yellow flowers? If you have not already noticed, flowers spawn way too much, so you will never actually see this fact in action. Climbing ladders is a very tiring job, but imagine how much more tiring it would be if you did not have any arms. Well, at one point, creepers were actually able to climb up ladders, and it looked hilarious. <laughs> Normally, to craft end crystals, you need to have an eye of ender, a gas tier, and seven glass. But what if I told you that you could get it within a fraction of the time with just a little bit of luck? In Minecraft 1.9, Snapshot 15W44A, it was possible to obtain end crystals from skeleton trap horses. Although finding one is rare, it's much less annoying than having to deal with the Enderman and gas. I will never figure out my Mojang ended up removing this. Do they hate us or something? Call me a weirdo, but I love the Sniffers because I'm a massive farmer. So you can imagine my surprise when I found out how to insta-hatch their eggs. All you have to do is place two moss blocks and a Sniffer egg in front of a sticky piston. Let this run for 10 minutes and the moss blocks will now be glitched permanently, allowing you to insta-hatch Sniffer eggs. Hey, stop coming after me! Hey, no! I bet you wouldn't believe me if I told you that it's possible to loot ocean monuments without even entering them. Mark the spots I'm showing you on these pyramid-like structures that are on the outside of the monument. 
you can pick either side, and all you have to do is place down a door and dig the block under you. If you see dark prismarine, congratulations, because you've just hit the jackpot! This makes finding gold a million times easier. The only plant in Minecraft that grows on a wall is a cocoa bean. However, in a lot of house gardens, this can look a bit wrong. What you should be doing instead is mixing in redstone ore with the wall, and then covering it up with vines. This creates this incredibly unique hanging roses design that certainly no one at Mojang ever planned. Unfortunately, mirrors cannot be added into Minecraft. This is largely due to how Minecraft runs, and mirrors can really affect that. However, some players have taken it upon themselves to create a slightly different illusion to create mirrors and reflective surfaces, rebuilding the entire room as a reflection. This works really well for any reflective floors, and breaks the rules that there are no mirrors in the game. Personally, I think dogs in Minecraft need more customization. Yes, I know they are adding the wolf armor in the next update, but I want to dream bigger. In the bedrock edition of Minecraft, there was a hilarious glitch that would actually let you die the entire dog. Ugh, why did they need to have more dogs? Oh no! I'm gonna die in this lava! Well, actually, no. As I have an expert way to get out of this certain death situation, if you are burning in lava, quit the game and then relog. When you log back in, you will actually have three seconds of complete invincibility. But to be warned, it won't get rid of the burning, so you may still burn to a crisp once you get out. Villages are a staple part of Minecraft, needed for everything from exploiting the trade market to summoning their iron protectors just for them to burn in your iron farm. However, when villagers were first added, they were only meant to spawn in the plains biome. But one mistake within Minecraft's code had them spawning in the ocean and having really nice wooden paths. Mojang realized the mistake and panicked, thinking of how to deal with it. So they decided to make it a feature instead. Yeah, it's now a feature, not a mistake. There is a secret item in Minecraft that Mojang really does not want you to know about. Certain blocks in Minecraft are unattainable without the use of commands. The command blocks, barriers, and this elusive item, the debug stick. This was actually introduced as Mojang kept adding blocks to the game that were becoming buggier and buggier. Hitting a block with this stick will actually change the state of a block. And the funniest part, this mistake is meant to fix other mistakes! No! This guy's gonna steal my diamonds! Quick, quick! Wait, what's in this chest? Oh, it's scaffolding! I can use this! I just have to play scaffolding like this, and then spam clicking, and then I can get away! Yes! This mistake is something that Minecraft seriously needs to remove as it can be very overpowered in these manhunt situations, but it is very fun to do. Mojang missed out on one of the best jokes of the century by not making suspicious sand sus. Additionally, since this pack gives sus blocks such a unique texture, it's impossible to miss them. Unless there's an imposter. If you haven't used Zali's potions yet, you're missing out on one of the greatest textures of all time. This gives every kind of potion its own unique texture, and also works for both lingering and splash potions. Mojang, you need to take notes. You might have heard of Faithful, but have you ever used Kingdoms? This is one of the craziest texture packs to ever exist, as it completely overhauls the games for medieval fantasy version of Minecraft. From the UI, to the animals, to even the nether, the creators of this pack have missed nothing. Hell, take a look at the striders, and I guarantee you won't be sleeping for a few days. This is a must try. Cats in Minecraft have a pretty bizarre history. When they were first introduced, you would have to tame an ocelot, and then you would get a cat. But this was eventually revoked, and a separate cat mob was created. But did you know that the ocelots are quite weird in how they spawn in Minecraft? As technically they are considered a hostile mob. This is true as they will not spawn in a peaceful world in Minecraft. No! Come back, little key! There is only one place you can find naturally spawning carpets, and that is the Woodland Mansion. However, you cannot find every type of carpet here. The Woodland Mansion in Minecraft Bedrock Edition is unable to spawn with orange or light blue carpets. This is because light blue carpets are used in the ancient cities, and then orange carpets appear in villages within the savannah, meaning that every carpet can be found naturally within the game. There are not many mobs in Minecraft that never touch the ground, but the ones that we know of are alleys, vexes, and gas. However, did you know that these mobs are still capable of destroying turtle eggs? For those who do not know, turtle eggs will break when a mob or player stands on top of them, and this will also happen if an alley floats above them for some strange reason. Job blocks were first added in Minecraft 1.14, and this brought blocks like the lectern, fletching table, cartography table, and more. Some of these blocks were actually meant to be added into the game beforehand, such as the lectern, which Dinnerbone developed back in 2012. However, the job block proved to be far too buggy, and was pushed all the way back to 2018. Did you know that glazed terracotta can actually spawn naturally? Well, despite it being one of the ugliest blocks in the game, you can actually find almost every type of glazed terracotta in the wild. The reason I say almost every is because you cannot find green, magneta, or pink glazed terracotta naturally in the overworld. Again, I hate these blocks, so really would not have an issue if none of them could be found naturally. When you grow sugarcane, it can only grow up to three blocks tall. However, did you know that sugarcane that spawns naturally actually has a one in nine chance to generate four blocks tall? Wow, so much sugar and it's all for me! When Minecraft were developing the deep dark, they were trying to make the best blocks and environment for the new part of the cave system. So much so that at one point they were testing out some different names for 
Deep Slate, and we're at one point about to call Deep Slate Grimstone instead. This would have been a far more eerie name for the block. <laughs> bow charge animations are straight up boring! Mojang should have done something similar to this bow charger pack instead. This changes the color of the bow as it begins to charge from red to green once fully charged. Nothing hits harder than losing a bow contest to a skeleton. One of the most annoying things is this disgusting overlay once you put on a pumpkin. Luckily for us though, we can fix this easily by using this no pumpkin overlay. With that overlay gone, you can finally see! It's like wearing glasses all over again. Waterless glass is something that we would never have to download. Just look at the difference with and without this pack. It's crazy. The best part is that you don't even need Optifine to run this. Finally, my OCD is fixed. What do you think of when I say degrading tools? No, we aren't going to be yelling at them. This pack makes tools lose part of their UI models as you use them. This works even for something like the flint and steel. It's a small change, but makes a world of difference. There's only one thing worse than being on fire. Not being able to see because of these god-awful textures. Who the hell thought it would be a good idea to make the fire cover half of my screen? If you're tired of this too, you need to try Ryan's lower fire. This drastically reduces the amount of space that the flames take up on your screen. What it doesn't change, however, is that it's still on fire. Wait! Subscribe quickly before I get bad! There are some mods that add things like cookers and microwaves into the game, but did you know you can actually do this in vanilla Minecraft? Well, if you use iron trap doors and surround the block with a painting on it, you can create this amazing looking microwave. As for the cooker, just put an iron trap door on top of a furnace and it looks like a stove. Animal farms in Minecraft are boring. You always have a fence surrounding some animals on a grass block plot. However, this tiny little detail will help bring your animal pens to life. If you have a chicken pen, scatter some little hay beds around on an item frame and then place an egg within the item frame. And all of this just uses a horn coral fan. But make sure you waterlog the block it is on, otherwise it begins to look a little bit dead. Minecraft houses rarely come with bathrooms. This is both due to your player never using the bathroom and also how hard they are to create. However, this exceptional design lets you create a shower that actually looks like a shower. So no longer conform to your gamer tendencies. Build this shower today! Fish are some of the most underappreciated mobs in Minecraft. However, you can build these fish a rule-breaking home using just one block. Scaffolding can be waterlogged and then you can place your adorable little fishy friends into this fish tank. Just make sure you do not break the scaffolding. <laughs> mobs keep breaking into my bases and I am tired of it! So I found this amazing house hack that will stop any mobs from entering my house. Whenever a zombie chases me into my house, I turn around, open up this trap door, and watch them fall to their death. <laughs> Personally, I think dogs in Minecraft need more customization. Yes, I know they are adding the wolf farmer in the next update, but I want to dream bigger. In the bedrock edition of Minecraft, there was a hilarious glitch that would actually let you die the entire dog. Ugh, why did they need to have more dogs? Oh no! I'm gonna die in this lava! Well, actually, no. As I have an expert way to get out of this certain death situation, if you are burning in lava, quit the game and then relog. When you log back in, you will actually have three seconds of complete invincibility. But be warned, it won't get rid of the burning, so you may still burn to a crisp once you get out. Villages are a staple part of Minecraft, needed for everything from exploiting the trade market to summoning their iron protectors just for them to burn in your iron farm. However, when villages were first added, they were only meant to spawn in the plains biome. But one mistake within Minecraft's code had them spawning in the ocean and having really nice wooden paths. Mojang realized the mistake and panicked, thinking of how to deal with it. So they decided to make it a feature instead. Yeah, it's now a feature, not a mistake. There is a secret item in Minecraft that Mojang really does not want you to know about. Certain blocks in Minecraft are unattainable without the use of commands. The command blocks, barriers, and this elusive item, the debug stick. This was actually introduced as Mojang kept adding blocks to the game that were becoming buggier and buggier. Hitting a block with this stick will actually change the state of a block. And the funniest part, this mistake is meant to fix other mistakes. No, this guy's gonna steal my diamonds. Quick, quick. Wait, what's in this chest? Oh, it's scaffolding. I can use this. I just have to play scaffolding like this and then spam clicking and then I can get away. Yes, this mistake is something that Minecraft seriously needs to remove as it can be very overpowered in these manhunt situations, but it is very fun to do. When copper was revealed to the community, we all jumped with joy to finally get a new type of armor and new tools. And all we got was a weird brown rod. What does this even do now? Ow! 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 Thanks, Notch. Wasn't wearing an entire suit of armor. Dad! Wait, how did this happen? Originally, copper armor was meant to be attainable until Mojang realized having the lightning rod be made of the same material as armor was perhaps a bit dangerous. It is so unfair. This poor group of pillagers are trying desperately to take on this village, but somehow they have a hundred iron golems defending their base. Unfortunately for these pillagers, this rejected idea would have given them their own version of the iron golem, one that was instead meant to attack the villagers instead of defending them. Although they do have the ravager now, so I think they win actually.
actually. The world of color update really did add a lot of new opportunities to the game, but the different colors they added are kind of restrictive. You could either have pink wall or pink concrete. However, this next rejected feature would have seen various different colors of oak planks by having them be diable. Imagine having a house made of entirely bright yellow wooden planks. Perfection. Wait, hang on. These are just regular planks. When you think of rare blocks in Minecraft, your mind instantly goes to things like ancient debris, diamonds, and deep slate emerald. However, you do not think instantly of pumpkins and melons, which is strange, as these blocks are actually some of the rarest blocks in the game. Well, that is until you find just one of them. Now I'm set forever! Everyone knows the main Minecraft versions are Java and Bedrock, but where did the idea for education mode come from? Well, back in 2013, a school in Sweden made Minecraft a mandatory part of their school curriculum. I wish I had attended this school. There are 79 mobs in Minecraft, but you will never find four of these mobs naturally. This is because these mobs are locked behind cheats. Obviously, people know of the giant, but then there is also the zombie horse, the illusioner, and my personal favorite, the killer bunny. No, no, please let me go! When there is a piece of TNT about to destroy my base, my first thought is always to get away from it. But you should make sure your house has more windows because glass is surprisingly blast resistant. Obviously, it is nothing compared to obsidian, but it does have a chance of protecting you. I'm embarrassed to tell you the sheer amount of time I've spent looking for buried treasure with maps. That was until I found out about this trick. Once you're in the chunk the treasure is located in, press F3 plus G and look at these numbers which are the subchunk coordinates. Make sure that the first and last digits are 9 and 9. After that, dig straight down and you've got yourself the easiest loot of your life. Similarly, you can do the same thing with strongholds which have tons of loot, but it's slightly more complicated. Use an eye of ender several times to see which chunk the location of the stronghold crosses in. This will indicate the general chunk it is located in. After that, you have to open the same menu and look at the subchunk coordinates. Only this time, the first and last digits need to be 4. Doing this helps you find strongholds almost instantly, which have a boatload of loot. The only downside is using the eyes of Ender can get a bit expensive. Did you know you can jump up more than one block in Minecraft? This is called a blip up. Basically, you trick the game into thinking you are on a higher block than you actually are. This then lets you jump up multiple blocks. However, it requires a fair bit of setup, so probably is not that useful. People will often MLG into a bed. It is certainly one of the biggest flexes you can do with your friends. But how about swimming into bed? Well, if you position yourself just right as you approach the bed, then you will actually have the swimming animation while you lie in bed. Is this some kind of waterbed? Representation is huge in Minecraft. However, this next mistake I do not think was entirely intentional. If you load up Minecraft in Snapshot 20W45A, you would see some cats that really showed some representation that they only had three legs. Not sure how they would be able to balance like this. I could barely stand on two legs! Ah! There is nothing more embarrassing than dying from full damage, but did you know you can actually do an MLG clutch without any block or item? No water, no cobwebs, no beds or anything. All you have to do is crash into a block as you fall at just the right angle, and you will bounce up on the block. Certainly one of the best MLGs to make your friends believe you are hacking. One thing that Minecraft is very bad for is storage solutions. The only real storage options are chests, barrels, and throwing stuff onto the floor and hoping you sort out your inventory quick enough so it does not despawn. However, these rule-breaking storage solutions can make your home look far better. If you place campfires into a cupboard of trapdoors, you can make this meat-drying cupboard. Certainly an interesting take on a kitchen accessory you didn't know you needed. Ugh, I'm a bit bored of my bed. I think I want to get a bunk bed. And thanks to this building hack, I can create a bunk bed that finally lets me achieve my dream of having a bunk bed. But I have no one to share it with. Not every person wants to live in a house on land. Some people want to live on a boat. And this building hack lets you have all of your necessities on one small boat. Time to sail the seven seas. See you later. Unfortunately, there is no good couch within Minecraft unless you use mods. However, you can actually create the illusion of there being pillows on your couch. If you break the blocks out from underneath the couch and put armor stands with dyed leather helmets, you can create these really cool pillows for your couch and really bring the house to life. They are not very comfy though. 